Hi all, just a quick life hack or tip if you're staying here in Thailand. And this is more so if you're staying in Thailand for a longer term, maybe one, two, three months in your apartment or condo, like I've talked about in previous videos. And it concerns water and a cheaper option for water. What you can do, you can buy, of course, you can buy bottles of water anywhere, fairly cheap. That's about 10 baht, that's fine. But you can go shopping at a Big C or Tesco Lotus and buy bulk water. That's always going to be cheaper buying in bulk. Now what I recommend you do is buy, at least for the first time, the one and a half litre bottles. The reason is you're going to save the empty bottles. And if you save five or six bottles, there's a way to get cheaper water from machines. We'll go out and have a look at those machines in a second. And the reason I advise 1.5 litre, one baht is going to give you around one and a half litres of water. So it works out just fine. And it depends how much you can carry. You know, five of these bottles will weigh seven and a half kilos, so it depends how much you can carry. I take five with me at a time, in a bag and so forth. So, here's a cheap option for water. We'll go out and have a look at the water machines. And here we've got a couple of machines out here, just out here on the road, about 50 metres down from my condo. That's a company name, it's reverse osmosis system, just like that. And there's another one right next to it here. So there's a couple of machines. So you're just going to put your bottle there, under the spout, put one bar in there, comes in one bar, press the button, comes out, and there it is. That's full with one bar, just like that. And here's another machine here, up in the laundry room of my condo, another company. This one says reverse osmosis and UV. Same, same thing, spout here, put your container there, one bar here, press the button, and away you go. So there's three types of machines. So there was three examples of those water machines here in Bangkok. One bar to fill up one and a half litres. You can buy those big five litre jugs of water, but I find the one and a half litre bottles are easier to carry and one bar fills it up much handier. Now I still don't drink this water, you probably can. I use this water in my rice cooker when I make rice, in my hot water kettle when I make boiled water for tea and coffee and so forth. But I do put the boiled water into these 1.5 litre bottles in the fridge and I use that to drink. And I can also fill up smaller bottles if I'm out and about, I can take that with me when I go out. So I still don't drink the water straight, I boil it first, but you probably can drink it. So I hope that was interesting. Any questions or comments let me know and I'll see you next time.